Hello and welcome to Happy English School. Can you name all five types of questions? Do you know how to build all of them? Would you like to get started right now? Then let's go! As you probably know, there are five types of questions. A yes-no question, WH, subject, alternative and a question. In the next five videos, I'm going to talk about all of them one by one, that's why make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell button to get notifications of the new videos. And today we're going to start with yes-no questions. If you were attentive enough, you've noticed that in the beginning of the video I asked you three yes-no questions. Can you name all five types of questions? Do you know how to build all of them? Would you like to get started right now? All these questions were built to make you answer yes or no, that's why they are called yes-no questions. Can you name all five types of questions? Yes, I can. Do you know how to build all of them? No, I don't. Would you like to get started right now? Yes, I would. To make yes-no questions, you need to take an auxiliary verb and put it in front of the subject. Let's look. Pete is looking out of the window. Is looking. Is is an auxiliary verb. Is Pete looking out of the window? The taxi has arrived. Has arrived. Has is an auxiliary verb. Has the taxi arrived? Josh will help me. Will help. Will is your auxiliary verb. Will Josh help me? Easy, right? But what if the auxiliary verb is not that obvious? What should we do? Marge comes from Scotland. They went to the zoo on the weekend. In both these sentences, we can see only main verbs – comes and went. That means that the auxiliary verb is do, and it can appear in three different forms – do, does or did. In the first sentence, the main verb stands in the first form, with ending s. That means that we should take do with the ending s, that is does and leave the main verb in the first form with no endings. Does March come from Scotland? In the second sentence, the main verb is went. It's go in the second form. That means we should take do in the second form, that is did. And again, leave the main verb in the first form with no endings. Did they go to the zoo on the weekend? Let's do it again. Sue bought a new dress. Bought is the second form of buy. That means we should take the second form of do. Did. Did Sue buy a new dress? Noah leaves on Sunday. Leaves is the first form of leave plus ending s. That means we should take do plus es. Does. And don't forget to leave the main verb with no endings. Does Noah leave on Sunday? We we'll love English. Love is the first form with no endings. That's why we should take do as it is. Do we love English? To answer yes-no questions, we need short answers. Yes or no, then the pronoun, and then the auxiliary verb, with not in no answers. Is Pete looking out of the window? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Has the taxi arrived? Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Will Josh help me? Yes, he will. No, he won't. Did Sue buy a new dress? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Does Noah live on Sunday? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do we love English? Yes, we do. Now try the next sentences on your own. Tom will visit you later. Jess likes yoga. I'm doing morning exercises. We visited you a week ago. I love auxiliary verbs. Write the yes-no questions in the comment section down below. You might learn something new with the others. If there are any questions you would like to ask me, feel free to do that. Don't forget to like this video. Remember, this is the easiest way to say thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.